Hey there, have you thought about doing automation in your business? Well, I have the top benefits of putting automation into your business and so that you can leverage, really leverage the power and the momentum of taking your business online and using social media and some pitfalls to watch out for and also five tips or five or six tips for you to really use that momentum. So welcome. And if you're joining me live, please say hello and let me know where you're coming from. Join in the conversation below and even on the replay because I'll get back to you afterwards. And if we haven't met before, my name is Olive Dodd and I'm here to inspire, encourage, train and share my journey with you so that you too can leverage the power of social media. And that's exactly what we're talking about today is automation and that's the beauty of social media and so let's dive into that so what are the benefits of automating and by automation you know that's how we're leveraging the power of social media so what would some of the benefits of that be so let me know uh, join in the conversation I'd love to hear you know what your concepts and your thoughts might be so maybe it's you know more time for your family uh, more time to do other business activities, uh, your daily uh, mode of operation or your DMO, you know, might be completely different, you know, different types of activities, uh, spending time with your team and more time for trainings uh, and especially making those connections, you know, with relationships and helping people out. So, uh, you know, do you have any other ideas? Uh, let me know. Uh, so also, how many of you have spent a lot of time, you know, talking to people who might not be interested in what you have to offer? You know, uh, talking to people that are just, you know, really not that interested. Uh, how would you like to spend less time talking to the tire kickers? Uh, so, you know, have you experienced that? People that just really aren't interested. So less time talking to people who are not qualified and talking to people who raise their hand and say, yes, I'm interested. You know, how would it feel to have people reach out to you? So who wants that? Uh, you know, so that you don't have to do that active prospecting, going out and chasing after people. So that's how would that affect your business? And that's what we're talking about. So because uh, now you can have a message rather than going out to one person and doing one on one, you can have one to many conversations, send out a message and it goes to many people so that now you have you know that possibility of going to so many people and how would that affect you you know maybe changing uh your lifestyle and uh you know so you don't have to you know have those home parties and having that more time so that is the true leverage of social media so now how do we do that so there's some pitfalls and some tips so i'm going to combine them just to you know save on time here because a lot of them are related one's the opposite and and one's the the, the pro so because when i first started i thought i was offline and doing things the traditional way and then i thought okay well i'll bring it online and doing the same activities online as you were doing offline I just found was not effective for me it just you know it, it wasn't working so how do we translate what we were doing offline and bring it online so we have to change our strategy a little bit so changing our strategy you know means having a plan so what does that look like so we have to think okay well what is the purpose of our content uh, not just you know for the sake of putting things out there, but having effective content. And what does that look like? Uh, because content is king. That is what makes people decide whether they're going to stay there and listen 
or whether they're they're going to move on so it's all about the content so thinking about how that's going to work having a plan and uh, so I have a plan I plan it you know one month at a time and so I plan ahead and I have a progression you know from someone that's starting to someone that's you know moving on so that there there's a flow to it I actually have a plan and it's not just you know filling in that space in time so really thinking about it and that comes down to you know what the content is you know for your audience and what that means to them so then the next part is okay well if you do have some automation going on not being complacent uh, not just you know sitting back and letting it happen it's not just numbers but there's actually a person out there we're talking and marketing to a human so to be social still it's uh you know it's not just numbers it's not just another email address or another like and that kind of thing there's actually a person behind that and they have a name they have a story they have struggles and you know they have their own problems and so that's part of it is talking to that person to that uh, target audience that avatar that actual human and you know what are their struggles and what are their their problems so addressing those kinds of things and rather than just you know putting things out there for the sake of uh, putting things out there so uh, have you ever gotten um, a message from the wrong person like it you can have several conversations going and uh, so sometimes I've gotten messages in one conversation that the person really meant it for someone else and they go oops <laughs> this is you know it doesn't make sense right because it was part of a different conversation and so you're going well this doesn't make sense why am I getting this and so that's what it's like if you send the wrong content to the wrong people they go well that doesn't make sense why am I seeing this and so <laughs> you know uh, it's just it doesn't make sense so you know and so they're either going to shut you off or you know block you and that kind of thing so you really want to make sure that you you keep that right person and so that's having your target audience which is another you know huge part of it it's like so important because uh, it makes a difference whether your content can make an impact or it's annoying to someone and so that is the key you know the the wrong message it's just and it makes it awkward too because people don't want to you know see messages that they're they're not interested in it just uh, it doesn't make sense because we're human so uh, you know you want to make the most benefit from this content you know make the most of it so you want that person to think okay yes I like this I'm really interested in this and I want more from that, more information and so that's why we do that target audience and all that avatar and, and, and that kind of thing so another part of you know having any kind of automation is also uh, keeping up with you know the the policies like because we're on uh, this platform and so and they have policies and so it's really important especially when you're getting into automation to make sure that you keep up with that because social media is always evolving and changing and the rules can change and the restrictions and you know for instance this one is becoming more and more private and you know just being compliant to with your uh, company so it's so important especially in the automation because that's when you know the consequences you know can be even more severe and just recently you know there have been some letters to uh, some companies because some of their distributors uh, whatever you want to call them you know have made comments about uh, claims that they shouldn't really shouldn't be making claims of claims of the products what they can do and that kind of thing so just being compliant with policies and with your compliance is uh, so so important okay 
And then the next part of automation is keeping track of your metrics. So metrics can be anything that's externally verifiable. So it could be the number of people that you're reaching or the number that are you know coming through a funnel or how much volume uh, do you need. Um, maybe it's you know the, the next rank advancement or how many people you've had a conversation with or how many people have opted in for a product or sales that you made. Any kind of number is a, a metric, a, an externally verifiable. And what that does for you is it shows the trends, you know, and what's working. And that's so important because that's the cornerstone. And Another huge part of that is you can see the growth. You can, and so that helps with, you know, thinking, okay, this is working, what's working and what's not working. And you can make judgment calls and you can make decisions if you have that information. So it's so important to keep track of your metrics. And <laughs> uh, I know that, uh, whatever way you do it I keep mine on a spreadsheet and then I can see and you can you know it makes you feel good okay well I am progressing because sometimes you get into that overwhelm and that you know those beliefs and you think no this just isn't uh, working anymore or I don't know if this is working well you can then you can look at your metrics and say yes this is working I am progressing whatever speed that that might be I am progressing so that's that's key and then thinking that you can automate everything uh, you can't automate absolutely everything. I mean, it's wonderful to have, you know, the capacity to talk to many people, you know, in one video, but it still doesn't take away the need to have that face-to-face -face conversation or that one-to-one -one conversation because when we get right down to it, it's still about the relationship and having that know, like, and trust. And the only way to have the know, like, and trust is to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation, that human connection, you know, uh, have a, um, an emotional response and really get to know someone. And that's where the, the trust happens. So that's what it, it's all about, just putting that all together. And so what makes sense from that? You know what have you gotten from this uh, so far let me know where might you add in some automation into your business you know uh, is it just being able to achieve you know something that's a duplicable <laughs> that's always a tough word so that you know you can hand this over you know to your team uh, you know what what are the, the so the benefits of this, you know, having a little bit of time freedom, having people raise their hand and say, yes, I'm interested rather than chasing after people. So, and also developing those skills and talking to qualified people, people that are really interested. So that's, you know, that's the power and the, the beauty of uh, having an automated system. So. What have you gotten in from this and because I'd really like to to know you know what's your your takeaway from all this and if you'd like to dig deeper into this and just how to actually implement this automation and you know find out more and more about it because there is some skills needed uh, uh, please make sure that you click in the uh, the uh, connection uh, below that'll be in the conversation below because from there I can take you over to some training where you can dig deeper into the different components of this on how to do it and actually how to implement it. So go ahead and uh, check out uh, that connection uh, down below and I'll look forward to seeing you on my next training on Friday and until then I really appreciate everybody that joins in and uh, watches and until then have a wonderful day and we will see you again on Friday. Bye for now.